guys. How are you? I hope you are doing great. So we can enjoy this 10 minutes. And we will continue to improve our Chinese. And the previous video, we learned how to say hello, how are you? Very good. And I am very good too. And ni hao means hello. Ni hao ma means uh, how are you? Hun hao means very good. Wo ye hun hao means I am very good too. And in this video, we will learn uh, four names. And uh, the sentence we learned in previous video, ni hao, ni hao ma, hun hao, wo ye hun hao. We will use uh, the sentences in a dialogue. Here we have two dialogue. First, uh, I will tell you the name. First name is Dawei. Uh, sorry. Da. Wei. Dawei is a uh, David, uh, we, the Chinese people, convert the David names uh, just like the way. So if your name is David, you can use the way when you speak with a Chinese person. And uh, the second name is Mali. Ma Li Mali also ma like David Mali means uh, Mary If your name is Mary you can use Mali when you speak with Chinese person and Wang Lan and Lu Jing. These are uh, original Chinese names. Wang. Lan. And in Chinese, also, they use the surname before the name. Wang is surname. Plan is name. And the other name is Liu Jing. Liu Jing is writing like that. Liu Jing. Liu Jing. Liu also. Liu and Wang is a uh, famous surname in China. And this Jing also famous. It means cap capital. For example, Beijing, Nanjing. Uh, we use this character. So, and we learned these uh, four names and uh, repeat the dialogues. First, uh, the in first dialogue, Dawe and Molly talking. Dawe say, Molly ni hao. Molly, hello. Or you can uh, translate also, Mary, hello. And you don't have to translate it, Molly, uh, hello, you can say. And Molly said, ni hao dawe. Uh, I will write Ni Hao again because if you don't watch, if you didn't watch the previous lesson, so you don't have to go away. But I suggest you should also watch that video. Ni Hao is writing like that means. Hello. 
So, Mali, ni hao. Mali, hello. And Mali say, ni hao dawe. Hello, dawe, hello, David. And uh, there's a few versions uh, to say hello. And you can put how end of the name. For example, it's a May, and uh, you uh, you want to say hello to Mary. You can say Mary how. Just put how end of the uh, after the name, and you can you will be say uh, hello to her. Mary how David how. You can use uh, like that. And in first dialogue, we learned this. And the second dialogue, uh, Wang Lan and Liu Jing is talking. Wang Lan said, Ni hao ma. It means, how are you? Ni hao ma. And I also write ni hao ma. Ni hao ma. It means how are you? And ni means you, how means good. Ma make the sentence yes no question. We always put ma end of the sentence. So Wang Lan is how are you? And Liu Jing says Hen Hao. Hen Hen How? Oh, very good. How are you? Very good. Ni hao ma? How are you? Wo ye hen hao. Wo ye. Hen. Wo ye hen ha. It means I am very good too. Wo means I. Ye means too. And also hen very ha good. Wo ye hen ha. I am very good too. Because here it answered hen ha. Here answer also is same. So when you use the same answer, you must use ye. Ni hao ma? How are you? Hen hao. Very good. Ni hao ma? How are you? Wo ye hen hao. I am very good too. For example, we will learn in second chapter bu. It makes the uh, negative uh sentence so if you say wobuha i am not very good so you don't have to use ye for example ni hao ma not how are you hen ha very good ni hao ma how are you wobuha i am not good so you don't have to use ye when you uh answer when your answers is are, are same so you must use ye yeah. just uh, be careful for that and uh, in the previous lesson i didn't mention uh, about that the characters looks like so difficult but uh, there is a similarity between characters not uh, they are not 
uh, so different uh, from than any other. For example, we have here two ma, mali, and here ma is make yes no question. There, there uh, sound is ma, and there this part is also same. And we also have uh, the character mama. It means mother. And I will write here. Ma. Ma. This character also pronounce ma three ma and three same part and here this part also same this part so I mean when you learn about 300 characters all uh, you learn 90 percent parts and after when you learn the new characters and uh, the parts are uh, almost all of them is similar to you so it won't be that difficult to learn new uh, characters so when you learn the uh, new characters don't uh, look at that uh, from far just uh, look at that part of part and you will see the similarity the characters uh, between when you learned before so it will help you so much and I will also tell you here for example uh, here we have ye and we will learn the next uh, video ta it means he and she Ta, it's being like that. It means he. Okay, this part, yeah, this part, ta. And ta, ta, this part is same with yeah. And this part also we learned from ni. So when you learn how to write, Ni and ye. This uh, ta is not a new character for you. So you already know how to write this. Just uh, take this part from ni and take ye and uh, get together them. Uh, that occur a new character. So, but its uh, pronounce is different and meaning also different. So it makes uh, memorize the characters uh, easy, easier. So uh, in this lesson, uh, I finished what I need to tell. Okay, see you next video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe. I hope these videos uh, will help you. I know my English not so very good and i hope you can understand me okay guys uh thanks again see you